Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Banging out asshole kids, so I took one day off, <clears throat> and then it all backed up. Dear Aaron, thank you very much for your videos, and I really enjoyed Bachelor Pad Economics. I'm trying to ask for some help with my absolute failure with romantic relationships. I'm embarrassed to say that I'm a 25-year-old virgin from virgin, virgin from Australia. I've also spent the last eight or so years focused on my studies and work to become a doctor. Well, there might be a correlation there. Ultimately, I would love to find a great life partner and start a family with. Aww. Uh, my question is, how should I go about finding a quality partner despite my lack of experience and confidence? Contributing factors to my failure. Looks, I'm 5'9", height, and bald. All right, you're shorter. However, I work out regularly with weights and do cardio. Now, I looked at your pictures and consulted some other women. And you're, you're a pretty good looking guy. The only problem is you're 5'9". You're Personality, naturally, I am quite reserved and introverted. I am very friendly, not that assertive. Life experiences growing up, I had really overprotective mother who works as a... In my high school, I think this affected my confidence to pursue girls at my school and had a rippling effect further down my life. Ah, uh, where's your dad? Not that you control that. I've tried using Tinder with pretty much no success. Tinder is a shit, don't even bother with it. Uh, I believe I have had girls interested in me over the years, but either overthought things, not made a move, got extremely nervous, or was worried they were trying to use me for something. Uh, thank you very much for the help. I'm just concerned about my life passing me by and ended up jaded and alone. Would prefer to have an email for privacy reasons. And did you want a video? Yeah, you did want a video. Okay. Um, try to keep this anonymous as possible. Okay, I will. Yeah, I'm not going to show you a picture to anybody. I answer your questions really ask uh, oh yeah and then I want to know uh, send me some pictures so you're not ugly so we know it's not that and I said uh, how many girls do you ask out per week per week and how many hours per week were you studying and becoming a doctor uh, you were spending 60 to 70 hours a week sto uh, total studying in school you probably worked that as well um, there uh, Here's here's the thing. You have somewhat of an excuse uh, because, uh, dude, college. I didn't get laid in college. There was too much damn work to do. You work full time. You go to school full time. There's very little time. And since you're in med school, you're becoming a doctor. Um, they're just so that's a, a huge contributing statistical factor. Um, now you're working as much. But 60 to 70 hours a week, even then, I still manage to find dates. Um, <clears throat> you, you're, you're, uh, and, and besides which, it's moot. If you want to find a girl, it doesn't matter how many hours you're working. So I'll give you a little bit of forgiveness uh, with school uh, because you're very busy otherwise. But now you're going to have to put some effort into this. Um, yeah, your mom being a teacher lying to you, I'm just gonna, I assume she's a single mom. Uh, she did raise a pussy, and because that's what I asked you, I said, um, how many girls do you ask out per week? And you rarely ask out girls. All right, this is, this is the answer. It is all the time. You're a coward. You're a pussy. So the solution is, knock it the fuck off. Okay? All right, I understand you didn't have that much time. I, I understand that. Okay, yeah, you didn't have time to go all the parts. Okay, now... Dude, when I was in my 20s, now a lot of it also had to do with the fact that I was in ballroom dancing and, and there's tons of women around. Uh, I don't think, I, for a while there, I was at least asking out like three girls a week, at least, at least, probably one a day. Because that's the effort you got to put into it. And it, it doesn't matter... What's my problem? You're a pussy. Stop being a pussy. Solution. Answer. You're going to get rejected. Don't be afraid of rejection. I don't care if rejection hurts. That's one of the main paths. One of the main um, trials a young boy goes through to become a man is you just get rejected. And that's what you're going to have to do. You, you I, Admittedly, you're short, but you got everything else. You're not that short. 
and you got everything else going for you. You're in shape, you sent some good looking pictures there. You're a decent looking guy. You're not trying to do the comb over, that's good. You're not trying to be Donald Trump. You shaved, you accept it, and you're a doctor, you make lots of money. All right, now it's time to stop being a fucking pussy and start asking girls out. Don't give me this, well, I don't know, what do I say? That, 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 that doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Because you're going to get your ass handed to you. You're going to get shot down. Girls are going to treat you like shit. And uh, they're going to stand you up. I would <clears throat> also not say you're a doctor. I know you think that would be a benefit, and it is. But I would be, uh, I don't know, say you're a nurse or something else. Or just say you, you work in medicine. Um, try not to let on that you're a doctor because that's, a, that's another problem that you face is that uh, you're... If you do start asking girls out, they're going to probably look at you as a meal ticket. So I would just say you're a nurse. Um, I would not display your wealth, but this is all going to be moot and irrelevant until you start asking girls out. Because here's, here's the other thing I'm afraid of is you're not able to discern the sharks from the legitimate. You want a traditional woman, a traditional wife. Dude, you haven't even asked girls out. So we are so far removed from that right now. What's more likely to happen is some kind of shark is going to identify you as an easy mark and take you for your money. So let's just make your job a lot easier. Uh, try to find a traditional girl and you not tell anybody you're a doctor. I mean, just do not mention that. Don't mention your income or anything. Don't don't have fantastic displays of wealth. I'm not saying live in a hovel either, but um, that that's that's another thing you're gonna have to worry about. But in the meantime, you're gonna have to ask girls out. You're gonna have to get shot down. How do you ask girls up? You go up to a girl. Hey, you're cute. You wanna go get coffee sometime? That's it. That's all you really have to do. And then be prepared to be shot down. At first, at least 9 out of 10 times. Absolutely 9 out of 10 times. Um, it really sucks when they say yes and then they stand you up. That's the worst because then you're wasting your time and you get hope. So lower your expectations. Read the book, or not the book, the post, 50-50-25. But that's how you get girls in your particular situation is you ask them out. And then there is no right or wrong way. You can read Pick Up and Game if you'd like. Um, you being... Scientific. I think maybe you would like Roosh's Bang and Day Bang a little bit more. It's a little bit more uh, formulaic and codified. Uh, but in the end, it doesn't. You, we can study and go over tactics and techniques. It's not going to compensate for the fact you're a coward and a pussy and you haven't asked girls out. So start asking girls out. And then that won't solve the problem, it'll get you closer to a solution. <clears throat> and then how to find a uh, quality girl, um, you're going to have to date a shit ton. Uh, normally I would you know, say, oh, well, you go to church, you do fun, uh, it doesn't work that way. Um, you're not there yet. Let's not worry about that right now. Let's get a couple dates. Let's start asking some girls out. There's always, you can do your standard ballroom dancing if you're still afraid of girls. Uh, looks like you're athletic, so you can go do ballroom dancing. That's a very easy way. To get confidence among women, but in the end, you will have to start asking girls out and get your ass shot down. And then after thousands of girls you ask on dates, of which maybe hundreds will go on a date, you might find a quality girl that's marriage material. But you will destroy your chances or really impair them if you start leading off with you being a doctor. So I would, you know, humble cars, humble apartments, humble tastes, and you're just a nurse, by golly, and then hide your diploma in your office or something, I don't know. Don't let the girl see your diploma. All right, questions, answers, assholeconsulting.com. I'll see you guys later. Toodles.